Hello everybody, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Episode s- five. Five. <laughs> you only said six there. <laughs> I did. I was, I was like questioning myself. I was just like, five or six? This is not Math Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the sequel Math Club. <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no thank you. I'm anyway, good, who should we show up on to next? Well, uh, I picked the last one, so... Uh, uh, that's okay. Alright. Hmm? <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. <laughs> First of all, um... It's a string of 20 fucking random words that don't make any coherent sense. <laughs> Natsuki re rereads my poem. re 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 Never mind. I don't feel like giving my... Uh, giving my opinion. Yeah, I just, I just fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I give up. Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. Are you sure about that? <laughs> mm. I want to hope you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. <laughs> oh shit! Oop. I accidentally turned on something. Whoops! Oops! Yeah, don't want to set the house on fire. <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. <laughs> what the fuck was that voice? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem, make me go, ha! Well, it's not that great. But let me show you what real literature looks like. Fucking <laughs> real literature. Hot. <laughs> it's getting worse. <coughs> you fooled. You've only seen my first face. That's pretty much what this is. Yeah. You went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh, so, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Huh? Natsuki ret Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ah, you're so... You just... You, you don't understand anything, do you? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure it out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Eh, <sighs> fine, I guess. I think it's Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> um, this this handwriting here, this is literally what they teach you in primary school. Yeah, it's like it's perfected. Th Even the K, look at the K. The K. Emphasize the K. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, those Ks. I never understood those Ks. It's just like, but why would you do that? Yeah. Was... It makes no sense. Also, when when that first popped up, the first thing that came to my head was Comic Sans. I'm sorry. Why would Comic Sans come? I to don't it? know. It looks nothing like Comic Sans. Maybe because I was at work last night and I was looking, um, looking around, just like making sure everything was in the right place. And there was a folder up on the shelf, and it was written in Comic Sans <laughs> in a workplace. And I was like, no. I remember going to like a. Uh... I think it was like a newly opened cafe and they had like little uh, business card sort of things that you could hand out to people. It was like, here, check out this place. And everything was written in Comic Sans. And I was just like... No! I was like, okay, well, as someone who has <laughs> been... <laughs> someone who's been studying design this year, that is a big no-no and you that's, have already failed. That's like our graphics teacher literally using Comic Sans in yeah. the PowerPoint. And I'm just like, oh, don't do that. That's that's the number one thing you should never do. Never use no, Comic Sans. No, you just, you just don't. Never use Comic Sans or Papyrus. There's literally the two fonts and they're both names from Undertale. <laughs> Coincidence? Coincidence? I think not! 
<sighs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Not happy. <laughs> not happy. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. <laughs> We're gonna get copyrighted oh, so hard for this shit. Oh, uh, didn't we do a? I, I did a um, Incredibles reference in our um, Unravel video, didn't? Oh, we? you did. Yes. <laughs> it was when the building was burning down. I was just like, oh, it was burning down. It was coming down anyway. <laughs> the building was on fire. fire. It was coming, coming down, down anyway. anyway. <laughs> Go check that out if you haven't. One of the videos doesn't have any views. I don't know why. I don't understand. Yeah, it was everything good else has it was like good series though. Yeah, everything else uh, loved all, it. All, like the other three all have like four views uh, at least, and then like episode two has none. And I was just like, but why would you just, just skip episode two? That's weird. <laughs> Watch episode two, <laughs> please. It was it was a fun game to play, and I really don't want to pass that moment. <laughs> the only like the part that sticks with me is the fact that we um like as a team we were yeeting ourselves with momentum. Oh yeah, that was awesome. And then the last like I think it was like on the last the level with all the, with the rapid like oh, river. The fine the home stretch one. We that just was... couldn't with that. That we was eventually insane. got through it. We, yeah, we, 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 were re we retried. So I think it was like fifteen times or something. Something like that. You, I think you skipped a line. Ah. Well, the thing, the the part that, the part that gets to me is like, there's people out there who literally do deathless speedruns of that game. Yeah. And it's insane. Like for, when when you like look at like uh, no damage speedrun, it's it's like crazy. It's just like. Yeah. Like, not only are you speedrunning, you're also not taking any damage either. You're literally like. I'll cut off my arm while trying to, like, do bow and arrow or something. Just archery, just cut off my arm while doing it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Another jump run, please? <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> just be honest. I am. It'd be so funny if we named ourselves to Honest. <laughs> Cause we'd be just we'd just be honest. Just be. <laughs> just be. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because it's not a reason. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. That explains why you still use primary school handwriting, but uh, <laughs> beside that, nothing else. Yeah. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read. But it hits you hard. <laughs> Crit. <laughs> Critical. <laughs> like this like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, and then made it fall flat on purpose. Hopes and dreams. <laughs> Crushed. Dead. What the fuck? <laughs> you like clicked at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm about to do what's called a pro game move. <laughs> I did modern that problems one. require modern solutions. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <laughs> Who shall we go for next? I think we should go for Sayori. Coolio. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Stepped on you. Hmm. This is a good poem, Fry. <laughs> Reading it out loud makes it worse every time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in this in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. 
Well, we didn't. We just threw <laughs> 20 words together, didn't we? Yeah, 20 random words that had no coherent meanings. Well, that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you really are a part of the club now. It's been one day. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. <laughs> See? It's like I said before, Fry. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much shit this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Ooh. That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yeah! Now, you're with my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, here we go. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. We had that discussion last time. <laughs> yeah. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If, I, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. <laughs> it's very Sayori like. Very. Sayori. This is just a guess, but. Did you wait until morning to write this? No. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> it's like that. Um, it's like the meme that came from the most recent uh, Star Wars movie. It's like, how many ships do you want in the CGI scene? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. You got distracted part way through. <laughs> Well, near the end, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... How should I put it? It sounds just like you. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or a roast. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school... It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. That face mm. reminds me of um, puffer fish eating a carrot. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I'm probably gonna add that in post. somewhere, <laughs> and it's not gonna look pretty. <laughs> you should just you should just put it in, like random corners, just like there, it's like up here. <laughs> Just somewhere in the video, I don't care. I'd probably put it over Sayori. <laughs> Crop it perfectly. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright. Who next? Oh, can we just not click it? <laughs> just, just skip sit it. There. <laughs> Boy, you better come here and share your fucking poem. <laughs> Boy. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new in everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, contact the game developers and send a complaint. <laughs> I'm always listening. <laughs> Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. 
Of course, I'll be afraid to, to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. I yawned at the same time, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Fry. Did I make that evil again? It was better than the previous ones. <laughs> <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But that's sort of... that's It's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> Not really. I crave die. <laughs> you two, please don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Fry. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> Actually, yeah, on that topic, while we were doing the poem, there were three instead of four stickers on the That's page, right. and Monica she was... wasn't up there. Interesting. It was just Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri. Mm. So, that could lead to something. Probably. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. You're supposed to do that like a Morty. Oh, jeez, Monica! <laughs> you never said Rick. I, I, I had it in my head, I was just like, say Monica, say Monica, not Rick. <laughs> no, no! I turned myself into a pickle fry! A pickle Monica! <laughs> Can you do that? Please. Uh. Pickle Monica. Ugh. It's cursed, but I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> no, the eyes probably won't work. It won't. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> kind of makes me think of something. Nazuki would. Oh my god! I just thought back to when you put Saitama on Pikachu. <laughs> what? In design graphics. When oh, you put... <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I was photoshopping. Ra I got bored in like our design graphics class, so I just started photoshopping random faces onto other things. So I, pho I photoshopped Saitama from One Punch Man's face onto Pikachu, <laughs> and it was so cursed. I just had the speech bubble at the end. Just Suka. okay. <laughs> okay. Soka. <laughs> And then there's the one of like where he's just saying okay, but you swap the okay in his face. Oh, so his yeah. face is in the <laughs> that's, speech bubble. That's somewhere on the internet, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> anyway. Kind of makes me think about something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Uh -huh. If you say so. <laughs> yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shell Silverstein? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for selling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Selling? Telling? <laughs> Fuck. I was gonna say. Damn it. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Yeah, our words are completely indecipherable. <laughs> Don't know what you're on about. His, po his poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. Ooh. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much fellow in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. If I could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you to have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have... <laughs> that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean that I always feel that way, you know? I see. 
Well, let's read it then. All right, here we go. Hole in wall. Oh, this has got a scroll. Oh, God. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the, spa the spackle? Spackle? Spackle, okay. The spackle yeah. protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I n I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind. I reel, I reel blind, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. <laughs> Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, did I throw you yeah. off? As soon as it's gone, I lose it. A oh. hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Mm, that could mean literally anything, but... Oh, that is actually... Mm, that's kind of confronting. Mm. I don't like that. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. We've literally done that throughout this entire series. Yes. If you try so hard to make it perfect, You'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand. Go with the flow. I'm going to try and make a reference now. I don't remember where yeah. I heard that. <laughs> Go with the flow. Yeah. It's, um, oh, yeah. King Jelly, Jelly Bean. King Jelly Bean. Oh yeah, go with the floor. <laughs> Damn it! Ugh, didn't like I that. I did not I, know. Yeah, that, that, that was uncomfortable. That, that, was... that was a... Mm. That's anyway. my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Can we go home now? <laughs> yeah. And... Oh, we'll leave... The, okay, phew. I guess that's everyone. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll leave this episode here. And we'll pick it up again in the next one. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like the give if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, share it with friends, ring the bell, yada 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 blah 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 blah. And we'll see you in the next one. Alright, goodbye. Yay! Woo! Oh.